Hey guys. Today we gonna talk about in-flight Wi-Fi and how it works. If you're traveling on an airplane from New Delhi to Kolkata, it takes 2 hours to reach. And normally, airplane fly at 500 km per hour. If you're frustrated with food, no entertainment on board, especially if you're traveling in Indigo but there's good news for Indians now. The government of India is planning for deploying of Wi-Fi on board. Thanks for gone boring days. But the problem is Indian airspace is heavily controlled by Indian Air Force. So, if Indian Air Force doesn't have any objection, then we, Indians have at least happy time in the airplane. But how in flight Wi-Fi works? The airplane has a transponder mounted on the top of it. And it gets a signal from the satellite just like your dish antenna provides a signal to the TV. In the USA, just 3 MHz spectrum has allocated for in-flight Wi-Fi. Now, just imagine the speed. It'll just a boring 50 megabits per second. 50 Mbps is not too bad, you might be thinking now. An airplane has normally 300 passengers so if even 100 passengers are using Wi-Fi on board, then it'll 2 to 3 Mbps or it'll even slower than the dot the band used here called Q-band KU band. Now, in 2 3 Mbps speed imagine what you can do. FB, Gmail or some normal website. How boring, right? So, that is the problem. If we bring heavy and bulky antenna on the airplane, then it'll affect the already heavy plane weight and on airplane aerodynamic, which is not economically feasible for the Indian Airlines companies and passengers too. So, to solve the problem, we have now, KA band which can provide up to few 300 Mbps speed which is good for everyone on board in one day. You can watch a cat video on YouTube on board or live stream on YouTube to show the world how dirty airplane washroom is. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and goodbye.